Hey everyone, Greg Cazillo from Cazillo.com. Yesterday, Adobe had their Max conference and the first of their keynotes. I thought I would go over some of the highlights of things that they had talked about, some of the things that were going on, some of the new releases that they talked about in Photoshop, and also some of their mobile apps. Um, the first thing that I wasn't unsure about and why they did this, at least on the live stream, they talked about, or they showed a Dell ad and a Microsoft Surface ad. I understand that everybody needs to make money, everybody's a media company, everybody's an advertising company, but I still don't understand why they had those ads up there. Um, you know, if you want to drop the name during the, thing, during the show, you know, during the keynote, say, hey, this is on the Surface, this is on an iPad Pro, whatever, you know, I understand that that's fine. But to show an outright commercial in the beginning for each of those products, I thought that was a little bit weird and a little bit over the top. I wish they hadn't done that. Um, some of the new things inside of the software itself. First, the Creative Cloud apps now sync all of their creative libraries in between all the desktop apps and mobile apps. That includes your fonts, your graphics, your images, your color styles, all of those things can sync in between and you can easily move them back and forth. You can also very easily import the Adobe stock images uh, first to get a preview if you needed a comp and then to be able to grab the final footage, whether it's a video or whether it's a photo. And uh, there's also illustrations and I think there's just there's some artwork also that you can license with the four categories. So that's pretty neat that they have that, that you can grab any of those and use them whenever you need. Uh, the next thing is Lightroom Mobile. I thought I'd talk about that. Hopefully everybody has tried out Lightroom Mobile. If not, now's the time because it is free. You can indeed grab it for free. You do not have to have a subscription in order to purchase that, or I'm sorry, in order to use that. So everybody should be trying it out. Um, Dehaze is the big new feature, the big new adjustment inside of that. So uh, just like it's in, in Lightroom or in Adobe Camera Raw, you have the Dehaze filters you now have it inside of Lightroom on mobile, which is great. That's a nice new feature. Uh, targeted adjustments are, are added. Uh, I had gone over some of the new features yes, in yesterday's video. I'll put a link back up to it in the description. And the last thing you can do is take a photo right inside of Lightroom, which is pretty nice. So if you had an idea, you wanted to see something, you want to add to your library and be able to edit and work on it right away, uh, you can shoot it right into Lightroom and uh, skip the step. You don't have to go into the camera roll if you don't want to. If you have a Windows 10 computer and a touchscreen, whether it's a laptop or an actual external monitor, uh, all of the, or let me rephrase that, the majority of the Adobe CC desktop apps are now touch optimized. So you're able to pinch and zoom and move around and do all the things that you would normally do on a touchscreen device like your, your tablet uh, or your phone. And so that's a, a really nice uh, step in the right direction because they realize that people uh, are going in that direction and being able to touch. In fact, a lot of times I'll be sitting with a client or something and I've seen them reach up and start to, to touch the screen on my laptop to be able to pinch or move. And so it's turning into a natural thing that we do it to interact directly on that screen, you know, the last five years, starting with the iPhone, it's really, really, really uh, kind of ingrained in us and kind of changed the way that we do things with our, our interaction. So that's a, that's a, a step in the right direction. Um, Photoshop mix was updated with more than two layers, uh, mass blend modes and uh, image adjustments. Photoshop mix is all about layering photos, or comping photos together. I thought it might be interesting application to try to create like a photo uh, album or a, um, what's the word, or like a, a wedding album inside of Mix. Um, I think it'd be interesting to try that out. Then you can export that file as a PSD, take it back into Photoshop. You, you'll have your high resolution images and then be able to export that out. So I think that would be really neat. You can import your Lightroom images into Photoshop Mix from the Lightroom Mobile. So it, it might be an interesting way to play around and just to see if that's something that, that might be a great way to just be able to sit with a client and play with it and then be able to send it over Behance 
or to be able to share it directly from there and make those adjustments and then go back and look at it again when you've made those changes. Um, I actually had someone ask me not that long ago about that, How what's the best way to do it now? I still use an older application that has a lot of templates and things that are in there to make it a little bit quicker, but I think I might try and make a video using Photoshop Mix and see how well a wedding album or a book can come out. Uh, another app, Photoshop Fix, first one is Mix, the next one is Fix, uh, second app allows you to edit photos. So um, you can easily adjust your facial features, it'll detect the face like the eyebrows and the, the skin and your eyes and nose and mouth and cheeks and all that. So you can move stuff around with the Liquify tool. Very smart app, recognizes where everything is, has a lot of possibilities inside of that app. And I'm, I'm, the only thing I'm not sure, quite sure about is why they separate these things into separate apps. I'm guessing they don't want them to be too large of a download. I don't know why it's not just one app. But uh, there's also a third Photoshop app called Sketch. Obviously, you can do all of these things in Photoshop CC on the actual desktop app in a single one. But on, the, on mobile, it seems to be better for some reason to split them up. Obviously, I, I'm not a, an, an app developer to know the answer to that, but maybe some of our app developers that might be fans could let us know what the deal is there. Um, basically, what that's for is drawing that, quote-unquote, behaves like the real thing, and that comes from directly from Adobe, and that's their quote. Uh, you can draw with pencils, pens, markers, erasers, custom brushes. Uh, you also have a creative, I think it was called Create CC app, what that'll do is allow you to create a brush or create a, um, a repeating pattern or pull colors from a photo from you taking your tablet and using the camera on it and you actually create that, uh, that pattern right inside of that app that then syncs into, uses Creative Sync to sync in between apps and so you'll be able to use that inside of your library. Um, that Photoshop Sketch allows you to use the latest styluses and latest hardware, and you can also send your files to Illustrator or Photoshop on the desktop. Last thing that I wanted to talk about is Photoshop CC. That's the main app that we use all the time. Uh, now it gives you the power of artboards. Those artboards allow you to have multiple uh, layouts or it'll uh, allow you to do a bunch of edits on a single document inside of a single document, instead of having like four or five, six documents that you're working on, uh, just like Illustrator, just like InDesign will allow you to have multiple pages, or like Microsoft Word allows you to have multiple pages of a document. You can do the same thing now inside of Photoshop, which I know I am going to be taking advantage of in multiple ways. So that's going to be nice instead of having version one, version two, or um, one easy example is, is that I use uh, Photoshop a lot for making my little uh, cards for when I do sports photography. And what will happen is, is I, I need a front document and a back document. So I don't have to do that anymore. I can combine those documents and just have one, drop that same image in and move it into the, to the different artboards and then export the two different artboards into JPEGs, print them out of Lightroom. So um, definitely some, uh, some nice updates that have come from Adobe at Max this year. Uh, they have another keynote again today. If there is more information that I'd like to get out to you, I will do my best to get another video up tomorrow. Uh, stay tuned. I have some more uh, Photo Academy videos coming up very soon. I have some things that I want to do like printing, scanning, lighting, and of course the general photography. I have some new stuff coming along, some new product reviews that I'm going to be doing. So uh, I really can't wait. This new space and new, uh, new studio and new things that are going on have uh, kind of got me fired up. So I can't wait to get all the stuff out to you. Thanks, guys. Keep shooting. See you.